Tonight I'm going to be soldering together the 8x7 Charlie Plexed Small Shield, which is this PCB, these resistors, a pin header, and a bunch of LEDs. And I start by flipping it over and opening up the resistor package. And this is sealed with a tiny piece of um, plastic foil, sometimes a little difficult to get off. And I just set them on the table. And then I take my soldering iron and I place a little bit of solder on each one of these pad pairs. And then I turn this around and these are resistors so they don't have a polarity. So as long as they connect this side to that side using the two silver sides it's fine so it can be white side up or black side up. So then I just reflow that solder and I do that for all the resistors. And when that's done, then I just add a little bit of solder to the other side. And this solder flows from the coldest spot to the hottest spot. So I heat up the pad with the soldering iron and then place the solder on the pad. I don't feed directly onto the soldering iron tip. And then the next thing is the LEDs. So these LEDs have a polarity to them. One lead is long, one lead is short. You can also see inside that there's this triangular part. And there's also a flat side to this plastic edge. And I put that flat side with the square pin. That's also the short lead. And I do that for basically all of them. I'm going to start with just this one though. And then because I'm a perfectionist, I just solder one pin and then I pick it up and I hold it with my finger like this, remelt it and push, and then it'll lie perfectly flat. And then I'm gonna trim the leads. And then in this case, I'm going to do two at the same time. And then you can see that they're not square on the board. So I just use my finger and flatten them out. And then I trim these leads. And 
and then I keep going until I have all of the LEDs in there with one pin soldered. My camera just cut out. So at this point, I start checking the alignment of all the LEDs by looking at it this way to make sure that the rows are straight going down and looking at it this way to make sure all these rows are straight going down. And if I see one that's a problem, then I just go ahead and fix it at this point. And when I'm satisfied with the alignment of all the LEDs, that none of them are crooked, or not soldered down all the way, um, then fix it before I proceed to this step, where I basically solder the second pin on all the LEDs. And it's best if you do this in some kind of order, that way you don't miss any. Um, a lot of students actually miss some. Which if you miss a couple, it doesn't hurt anything. It just means that those LEDs won't turn on. 
And if it's a lot of LEDs, it's sometimes difficult to tell which LEDs are problematic. Okay, and now I'm just checking to make sure, just looking at them, make sure I didn't miss any, but I don't think I did. So the next step is the pin header. So I just take it, flip it over. Solder one pin. Check that it's at a right angle. And then just look at it. And if I'm happy with the angle, I solder the other pin. I usually start with the pin farthest away, that way I don't accidentally melt the one I just soldered, and then just go in any order. So, the last step is to actually test it. To do that, I need to find a microcontroller. Okay, now that I have a microcontroller with uh, an Arduino Nano with a test code uploaded, then I just plug this in and check to see if it works. And it gets plugged in this way. And the test code should show each LED being lit up sequentially. So in this case, only this one is failing. So that means it's probably the LED. And because it doesn't light up at all, I know that it's not backward. So I just check those solder joints. See if it works. And that didn't fix it, so I'm just going to assume it's a broken LED. So to replace a broken LED, I melt both leads at the same time and it should fall out. In this case, it's not. So I'm gonna hold it with my wire cutters. and use the mass of the board against it. Try and melt them both at the same time. And then I have the LED out. And then the next step is to clean out those holes. So to clean out holes, I just hold my soldering iron to the hole, hit it on the table, hit it on the table, and once these holes are sufficiently cleared, I take a new LED and I make sure I have it in the right direction. And these aren't cleared out enough, so I need to work on it a little bit more. Sometimes 
with these, it's helpful to add a little solder so that there's more mass when you hit it on the table and more comes out. So then I'm just going to flip it over and try and melt them both at the same time because it's a little bit stuck, but should be able to work it through. Just like that. And then I check the alignment again. So I'm going to need to add solder so it'll stay in the board better. Resolder. Check the alignment. Solder the other side. Trim the wires and then put it back on the test board. And it works. So we're all good. So that was me assembling the tiny Charlie Plexed board. It's the same layout as the five millimeter version. So all the test codes work the same. I hope that helped you if you bought this and are assembling this at home. Um, and I hope it was informative if you didn't. Have a good night.